Hi guys, so I'm here today with my October favorites. As you can see, I tried to change up the location. I'm filming in my studio, obviously, because the lighting is a lot better here. I'm sitting in front of the window and I also have a lamp in front of me. I was trying to place myself in different places in my studio, but this seems to be a good corner. I have my armchair i feel really comfortable and relaxed i was gonna skip this month's favorites because i have a cold and stuffy nose but i thought no i have so many amazing products to share with you guys they've released a new uh, body care line called derma spa so this one is their goodness hand cream this is what it looks like the packaging of their new products is amazing it looks so expensive and high quality. So yeah, I've been loving this hand cream. I don't really like the scent because it's really sweet, kind of sickly sweet. I'm really not a fan of the scent, but it makes your hands so soft. I don't know what kind of new technology they're using. I haven't ever tried a hand cream that made my hands feel this way. And the whole line, I have three products from this line. Uh, body lotion and body butter. The body lotion gives the same effect like the hand cream. It's just impossible to explain. You have to feel these products on your skin. Your hands feel like silk afterwards. They're so soft. It's it, uh, it's unbelievable and it sinks into your skin really quickly so your hands are not sticky or grease or anything like that. Well, for a couple of minutes and then it sinks into your skin. I'm absolutely impressed with this new line. So definitely give this hand cream a go. Another product I've been loving throughout the month and it's pretty much what I've been wearing on my eyes throughout the whole month. It's the Bobbi Brown uh, chocolate eye palette. I know it's not available anymore, but maybe if you're lucky you can find it on Amazon or eBay. So I feel bad for recommending this, but seriously, it's my new favorite eye palette. It's just so, so unbelievably beautiful. All of the colors are gorgeous and I've been wearing um, these two mostly and that's what I have on my eyes today. Not that you can tell, but yeah, I just love smoking these all over my eye and it just looks incredible. I love that chocolatey, smoky eye with soft, warm brown colors. So this is my number one eye palette now. Another thing I've been really liking, you guys know that I love my Maybelline Master Shape Eyebrow Pencil in Dark Blonde. That's the one I always use. But this month I've been trying this one by L'Oreal, it's their brow artist designer and it's in light brunette. Not that I'm brunette, but it suits me. It's not too dark, it's not too warm. This pencil is great, I don't have a single bad thing to say about it. And it has a um, spoolie on the other end, which is always essential in my opinion. Then I have a lipstick, you guys might guess what it is, it's the Laura Mercier Lipstick in Spiced Rose. That's what I have on my lips today. You guys know I got it because Tanya Boro wore it on her wedding day and she recommended this lipstick and it's absolutely stunning. It's like a brown rose color. So flattering, so easy to wear, goes with all of the makeup looks. I love it with brown smoky eye um, and yeah, it's just gorgeous. I got it on Amazon. You can order her products and feel unique, but unfortunately they don't ship to Lithuania, which is such a bummer. So. Lithuanians, maybe search on Amazon. Then I've been loving this nail polish. It's L'Oreal Collection Exclusive by JLo. And it's called JLo's Delicate Rose. It's, I really wouldn't call it a delicate rose. It's really long lasting. One coat starts chipping uh, after a couple of days, but if you have two coats and then a top coat, it's gonna last you for a week. And I love these kinds of colors, like everyone in autumn. Uh, it's just very beautiful. This has to be my favorite out of all of my favorites. I have been obsessed with this um, palette. This is Tanya Burr's Peach Glow Cheek Palette. I have been wearing every single day that I wore makeup throughout this month and I have it on my cheeks right now as well. So I have bronzer, blusher and then a highlighter. I saw that Susie from Hello October and also Alex from Icovetti uh, included this palette in their favorites and these girls said that the bronzer is a lot like Laguna from NARS, which I have to agree. I do have Laguna and it's very similar. This is just a fail-proof palette. I normally am very skeptical about palettes like that, cheek palettes that have blusher, bronzer, and highlighter. Never buy them 
but this one is exceptional. The bronzer has tiny shimmering particles. The shimmers are not visible on your face at all. And I stopped using my honey bronzer from the body shop because this is all I've been using. It's not too warm, it doesn't look orange at all. It's not too cool toned. It's just the perfect bronzer to give a little bit of warmth to your face. So I put it in the hollows of my cheeks, on my forehead. The blusher as well, it's called apricot flush. It's just the perfect peachy color. It has a little bit of shimmer so it's it has that dimension and the highlighter is amazing it's called champagne shimmer and it has no shimmer at all that just gives a beautiful glow to your cheeks without looking all sparkly and glittery so it's perfect for every day now i'm gonna swatch all of these that's the bronzer the blusher and the highlighter look at these colors it's the perfect trio in my opinion they're so beautiful and look at that highlighter. I got this palette on Feel Unique. Unfortunately, they're currently sold out, but I really hope they will be back in stock soon because it's absolutely amazing and so inexpensive. Another blusher I've been loving is by MAC and it's called Warm Soul. I'm sure that most of MAC fans already own this blush and I'm pretty late on the bandwagon. It's a pretty popular blush from MAC. And look at this color, it's so beautiful. It's a mineralized blush. And it has golden shimmer and it's like a peachy kind of blusher. It's a very warm tone, peachy nude blusher with gold shimmer. It goes with most makeup looks because it's pretty neutral. I think one of the prettiest ones from MAC in my opinion. Another MAC product I've been using every single day to set my makeup is their Prep and Prime powder. I've never tried this one before and it's a white powder as you can see because it's translucent so it doesn't add any color to your face and it's indetectable. It's so, it just takes the shine away. It's perfect for setting your makeup. It doesn't look cakey at all. It just, as I said, it just sets makeup and takes the shine away. I've been really enjoying this powder. That's what I use every single day now because I ran out of my Maybelline powder so I've been using this one and I absolutely love it. I have it in loose form as well but I like the compact because you can take it with you in your handbag as well. It has a nice mirror so that's a great powder from MAC. I have one skincare product this month and it's the Vichy Normoderm High Loose Pot Fast Acting Anti-Imperfection Targeted Care That Leaves No Marks and this product is magical. It's heaven sent to me. Um, it has this like, metal nib that kind of looks like an eye cream, but it's not. And I think it's pretty hygienic because of this little metal nib. And oh my God, you guys, I do have hormonal breakouts around that time of the month or just occasional pimples. This one is a targeted care. So you just apply this on your pimple, a little bit of this. It's completely clear, so you don't look like a monster with a pimple cream all over your face. It dried out all of my spots, so they just flake away. It doesn't leave that dry patch after drying your spot, so your spot just peels off. All of the spots, they peel off. This doesn't leave any dry patches and it just makes your spots go away. It has to be my all-time favorite spot treatment. And I'll definitely keep buying it because it's fantastic. I use it every night on my pimples and it works wonders. Then I have a bath product. It's by Knipe, I believe. One of my German viewers corrected me. She said it's not Knipe, it's Knipe. So I'm, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. And it's a bath oil with argan oil, olive oil, marula and resin. And I've used this much already. Uh, the reason I love it so much is because it smells incredible. Oh my god, it's such a sensual, nutty, warm, it kind of smells a bit vanillary. It's just a beautiful, comforting, very sensual smell. I just like to pour a little bit of it in my bath and it just scents the whole bathroom. It smells so beautiful. Definitely give it a go. It's really inexpensive. It's four or five euros and you get uh, 100 milliliters in this. I guess you can use it for massage as well, not only for your bath. And using a bath oil just moisturizes your skin a little bit more as well, so your skin is left really soft and hydrated. It doesn't produce any bubbles because it's not a bubble bath, but just a beautiful scent and a moisture. I really love this product and highly recommend it.
And my last favorite, this one is actually a non-beauty favorite. I went to Vilnius with my mom over the weekend and uh, we went to Marks and Spencer's and I just grabbed this tea because I love English breakfast tea with milk. It's just Marks and Spencer's English breakfast tea. It says uh, rich, robust and full of flavors with a deep color. And you get 50 tea bags in this. So it's, I think it's that normally how many you get? 20, 25 tea bags? In this one you get 50 tea bags and that's what the tea bags look like. In the morning I drink my coffee with milk but every evening I have tea with milk and I just snuggle up in bed with my tea and watch TV series or read a book. The reason I love it so much is because it takes almost no time to brew, maybe one minute or so. You just pop your tea bag into your mug, pour some hot water and then grab your milk and pour the milk. I personally don't like strong tea um, so one minute for me is enough. It's it, it gets rich and full of flavor so quickly and that's amazing. My mom said, well, yeah, it's because it's full of colorants and chemicals. I said, no, mom, don't ruin my enjoyment. I normally buy Twinings English breakfast tea, the one in the pale yellow box, but this is gonna be my new favorite to have with milk. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this background. I might come here to film most of my videos because the lighting is really good. I'm not too pale, I, I think it's true to color. Um, have a lovely day and I'll talk to you soon, bye.